What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently I asked a friend of mine whether he had any suggestions as to what topic I could make my next videos on. And he told me that it would be really cool to see a video on how I make my videos. I'm Eason, a proud graduate of the University of Southern California, and I work as a consultant full time, but in my part time, I mentor students and I help them land jobs and internships. Before I jump right into it, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button for me and also hit the subscribe button because I do post videos twice a week on topics related to helping students excel. So topic number one, research. I typically spend about an hour researching the topic I'm making a video on. What's helpful is that because I do mentor a lot of students already, I have a lot of knowledge on the subject matter, but I still like to do my research to verify what I'm saying and to make this more informational for all of you. Topic number two, recording. In the beginning, it took me about an hour to record a five to 10 minute video, but now it takes me about 30 minutes to do the exact same thing. And I also record in batches. I typically swap out my shirt so I don't have the same shirt for four videos in a row and I also used to record two videos on Saturday and two videos on Sunday but now I've changed to only recording four videos on Sunday just to save time because it does take me about 20 minutes to set the room up with all the equipment in the right place and getting everything ready and even though I post two videos every single week the reason why I record four is so that I can have a backlog prepared just in case I can't record for whatever reason on a weekend. Number three, video editing. So after the recording is already done, I have the file and then I have to video edit and this takes the bulk of my time. It now takes me a good five hours to edit one video, which is still a lot of time. And in the beginning, it took me eight hours to edit one video, but I've brought that time down through practice and just by investing my time and effort into making these videos. I use Premiere Pro to edit all my videos and my first wave of edits typically consists of removing all the unnecessary pauses and the mistakes that I make when I record my videos. I've also gotten used to using shortcuts like CNV to cut out unnecessary clips from my video. And my second wave of edits involves adding pictures, memes, sound effects, and any additional video. So I do these second wave of edits to add all those in, but also to make it one fluid video. And then my friend Randy takes the audio file, cleans it up, and then gives it back to me, which I then add so that I have a much higher quality video. Number four, thumbnail editing. Creating the thumbnail for a video typically takes me 30 minutes, and I would say the hardest part here is actually thinking about what I should make for my thumbnail, as opposed to the editing itself. Point number five, processing and editing. It usually takes between 15 and 30 minutes for my laptop to process the video, and then another 15 minutes to upload the video to YouTube. And of course, it takes me another 15 minutes to add in the title, and the description, and all those small tasks required to publish the video. And lastly, SEO. By no means am I an expert with SEO, but I am trying to get better at it so that my videos can rank higher. And so I usually spend about 30 minutes making sure that my videos are optimized. So that right there is the process behind me making my videos. It is a pretty lengthy process, but again, practice and repetition is really what gets it down. So if you're someone who's looking to make YouTube videos, just start and don't try to get your videos to perfection. If I look at my first video now, I realize just how many mistakes I made but I wouldn't have been able to fix all those things back then with the knowledge I had. Your videos will gradually get better with time and practice. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know below in the comment section if you have any questions. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.